Hi, and welcome to Ballet Body Flow, where we're gonna combine the strengthening rhythm of ballet with flowy, soothing yoga. It's gonna be really fun and probably a completely unique workout you've never tried before. And this is a part of the Ballet Body Flow series where you can sign up for free with the link below, download your challenge guide, join our amazing community, so let's get started. Let's begin here down on our mat and roll the shoulders back. Take a nice big inhale in and exhale. One more time, getting into your body, inhale in and exhale. Good, let's go ahead and bring the hands down towards the mat. Really grounding and rooting yourself. That's what's so different about some of these yoga poses. Inhale, lift the heart and chest up. Exhale, push the floor away. Really feel the finger pads into the floor. Inhale in and exhale. And again, inhale in and exhale. Good, and then come into neutral spine. Now extend your right leg back and your left arm forward and lift everything up. Pull your core in nice and tight and then pull elbow to knee. Here we go, eight times just like this. Eight, warming up the core, warming up the back. Seven, push the floor away. Six, arms are nice and straight and strong. Five, four, and switch sides, extend the leg back, reach the arm forward. Here we go, lift up and pull it in. Two more, two and one. Good job. All right, let's just really stretch out the body. So just kind of take yourself into your own little positions here. So maybe you need a little more stretching of the upper spine, maybe of the back, a little shoulder stretches here. Just kind of get into your body breathing because this class is all about flowing and being in your body. Good. So we're gonna tuck the toes under, shoulders right over wrists, pull the lower belly in, and you're just going to suck the thigh bones up into the hip sockets and lift on up, hold it here. Feel the belly turn on, pull up the pelvic floor, push the floor away with the hands. So you're really pressing away, biceps forward, triceps back, long spine, and lower down. I know it's a lot of cueing, but every time you watch this video, I'm sure you'll learn a little something different. So let's do that again. Inhale in, exhale, feel everything pull up and in. Nice, long spine, beautiful. Now this time we're gonna walk our feet all the way, stay right there in that flat spine, all the way out into a high plank pose, nothing moves. Push the floor away even more, see if you can get more space in the shoulders. Now bring the feet all the way together. Nice, and hold right here. We're gonna lift the left leg up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, push the floor away again, reset, push the floor away, pull the abs in, engage the quad and inner thigh for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, place the knees down and come into a child's pose. Reach the arms forward. This is gonna combine pulsing movements of bar, soothing stretches of yoga and mindfulness and the flowiness and put it all together. All right, we're gonna reach forward. We're gonna do a nice little push up here and then we're gonna press back to our child's pose. Here we go, eight times just like this. Eight and back, rolling through the spine each time, seven, and back, so I'm giving a nice little wave as I come forward, six, and back. Nice job, keep going. Let's 
hold this last one here, little pulses for 10, nine, pull the belly in, seven, six, five, four, three, two, press all the way up, good. So now you're in a half plank pose here. Now you can either hold here or meet me all the way up into high plank pose. Good, and now we're gonna pull the left knee in and then step it back, pull it in, step it back. Good, for six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Now we're gonna take it all the way back into downward facing dog, our first downward dog. So just pedal out those feet. Beautiful, beautiful work here. Now bring those feet all the way back together. Lift up high onto the toes and then lower the heels down. Now we're just gonna keep going up and down with the heels, but I want you to think about elongating through the whole body, okay? So you're getting longer, like someone's pulling your hips up, and so it's stretching you on both sides, through the armpits, through the shoulders, through the sides of the waist, good, through the legs and underneath the feet. You really feel this long line. Two and one. Now stay up high onto the toes and then roll forward by starting the curl with the tailbone and the, and the belly. Reach all the way forward into that high plank pose and then take it all the way back to downward dog. Two more just like that. Lift up high onto the toes. Roll forward like a beautiful wave. And then we're gonna add a little wave all the way back. Nice. One more time, lift up high onto the toes, roll forward. Bend the knees, stick the tailbone up. A nice little wave all the way back. Good. One more time. We're gonna roll all the way forward. This time, we're gonna put the knees down, lower down into a chaturanga, and then come all the way up. It's kind of in this little lazy upward facing dog, just since it's our first one. And I want you to think about taking the hands back so the energy of the hands are sliding back, okay? Not forward, but back, so that the chest can lift up high, squeeze the shoulder blades, good. And reach it back, let's go back into downward facing dog. All right, so we're gonna lift the left leg up. Good, nice, long, beautiful line here. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Good, now I want you to really think about lengthening through this position. Because now we're just gonna take this foot, we're gonna take it all the way over behind us. And we're gonna find wild thing right here and lift up high through the hips, reach through the fingertips. Good, really push through the toes. Hold it here. And then we're gonna sit it all the way down. Beautiful, okay. So now you're seated here. Lean back onto this elbow. Take this foot all the way up into our sassy inner thigh lift, just like that. We're gonna do 10 here like this. 10 and nine, eight, using the core, seven, six, using the inner thighs, five, point the toe, four, three, and two, and one. Great job. Now we're gonna come back up into the wild thing here, just like that, lift those hips up high. And now take your knee, all the way up to your um, other knee, or your foot to your knee. Good, hold here for just a moment. Notice here I'm in a side passe, reaching the fingertips forward, lift the hips up to the side. Nice, now in slow motion, you're gonna step the left foot forward all the way up to the top of the mat. Good, and let's lower the back knee down, and then rise on up. Take a nice big circle behind the head. Three times, just like that. Here we go. And three, lift up tall through the spine, through the belly. Two, feel the inner thighs working here. And one, nice, place the hands down. Tuck the back toes underneath. Find your high plank pose. Now we're gonna take chaturanga. You can take it on your toes or come down onto your knees. Your choice. Shift forward over the fingertips though. Squeeze the elbows together and lift up into your upper facing dog. We're gonna hold here for just a moment. Now lift the thighs up off the floor, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the heart up towards the sky, navel in towards the spine, and lift up, beautiful. Now I push into the floor, I even give a little tension between the hands, 
to activate my chest muscles. Good, and then come back to downward dog. A couple deep breaths right here. Inhale in. Exhale. Beautiful. All right, so now bring the feet all the way together. We're gonna lift the right leg up in the three-legged dog. Hold here. Pull the ribs in, lengthen out through the sides of the waist. And then you're gonna bend and open up the knee. Open up the hip. Nice. So you know where we're going now. We're going into that wild thing on the other side. Carefully, slow motion, tap the toe to the ground, lift the hips up, and reach over with the fingertips. So it's really important to be pressing through the big toe, pressing into the knife edge of the left foot to help you lift up higher. Nice, use your body, inhale in, and exhale, lower down. All right, good. Now we're gonna lean back onto this elbow, reach the arm up towards the sky, and we've got our inner thigh lifts right here. All right, here we go. And 10 and nine, really use the core to help activate those inner thighs and hip flexors. Good, seven, six, and five, four, good, three, and two, and one. Nice, we're gonna come back into our wild thing. So come all the way back up, lift the hips up, point the toe, lift up high, and now let's come into our side plank. Here we go. Stack everything up right on top of each other. Lift the toes up. Beautiful, and then carefully, slow motion, step forward to the top of the mat. Nice. All right, now circle the arms back behind you for three. And for two. Beautiful. And one. And place the hands down. Let's take our chaturanga again. Shift forward, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Good. Okay, so we're gonna keep moving on. If you need to take a child's pose, right now would be the time to take a child's pose. I'm gonna take three deep breaths right here. Right, and then lift the right leg up. And we're gonna step it all the way in between the hands. Now we're gonna land softly down into a high lunge. So holding it here, and then just barely lift up onto your fingertips. Find this position. Pull the abs off of your thighs, reach through the crown of the head, reach through the toes. I want you to really feel the inner thighs fire up. And then from here, just hover right over the, the leg. Chest is as close to the thigh as you can. And I'm elongating from the crown of my head to my toes. Create that line, pull the abs in, draw the tailbone down. Beautiful, then from here, we're gonna circle the arms all the way back and forward. Three times, just like we did in low lunge. And three, and two. I know it takes a lot of balance work here to have the legs split like this, and one. Beautiful, and hold. See if you can get down a little bit deeper. Sink it down, pull the abs in. Lift your chest up, stand proud in your body. Nice, and then we're gonna open all the way up into a warrior two. Warrior two is a beautiful pose to help us feel strong. That's always my highest intention for you, is to feel strong and beautiful in your body. So just feel this length created here as the legs are super rooted into the floor. Now let's reverse the warrior. Now I'm gonna challenge you to stay low in that front leg as low as you can. And then we're gonna come into a side angle pose. Hold it here. Good, so squeeze those inner thighs together. Draw the shoulders down. Pull the abs in. Now you can stay right here if you want an extra little challenge. You can bring that bottom arm up, which definitely adds 
a ton of extra challenge. <laughs> Good. And then come on up. This time we're gonna come all the way up. Grab your wrist and give yourself a nice little side stretch as the front leg stretches straight. Beautiful. And then we're gonna take ourselves all the way forward into a triangle pose. You can place a block here if you need it. So reach up, breathe. Take a nice big deep breath in. And then feel like someone is holding your top arm, pull the abs in, and just feel as light as a feather as you lift all the way up. Beautiful. Right from here, we're gonna open up into our goddess pose or our second position, plie, okay? So hold it here, beautiful. And we're just gonna take little pulses, pulse, pulse, and pulse. Nice, feeling those legs working and firing up. Good, and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And stand it all the way up. And then we're gonna open back up into a warrior two. You have to swivel that back heel back again. Reach forward, windmill the hands all the way down, high plank, and then take your vinyasa, which is just the chaturanga to the upward facing dog, to the downward facing dog. And let's hold here in down dog for three breaths, or you can take a child's pose for these three breaths. Let's lift the left leg up, inhale in, and exhale. Let's step it in between our hands, nice and softly, and then rise up onto your fingertips. Good, pull the lower abs in, lengthen out through the spine, lengthen out through the crown of the head, and then just float yourself up above the thigh. Hold here, pull the abs in. So you really wanna feel like you're going really, really long right here. Fingertips are reaching towards your toes. Shoulders are squeezing together. See if you can get a little bit lower and lift up, good job. And let's circle around for three. See if you can get a little deeper into the legs. Two, squeeze the inner thighs more. And one, nice, and then sink down a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper, you've got this. You are so strong. And then open up into a warrior two. Beautiful. And so remember you are a warrior, you are so strong. And this is that pose that always reminds me of that. Okay, good. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Reach through the fingertips. Straighten out that leg as much as possible. All right, and let's reverse the warrior. Sink deeper into the front knee. And let's take our side angle pose. Reach over long. And if you want that extra challenge, first I want you to think about tucking the tailbone underneath you. Almost as if you were against a wall right here and it's hot, you can't stick your butt out, right? So pull the booty underneath you, hold onto the abs, and then reach the arm up. Nice, ribs draw down, lengthen from fingertip to toes. Arms are parallel to one another, soften through the shoulders. Beautiful, and then I squeeze my inner thighs together to hold myself here. <laughs> so I'm shaking a little bit, good. And reverse and strain the leg, grab your wrist and give yourself a nice stretch, beautiful. And then take yourself into your triangle pose. A nice release stretch after all that work. and then feel like someone is holding your top arm and then they just lift you up, float all the way up to the top. Beautiful, and then we're gonna come into our goddess pose. I'm gonna turn around just so you can see me. So come into your goddess pose, hold it here. Reach your arms up overhead and let's pulse it out. And pulse, and pulse. Feel the legs work. Soften the shoulders and keep the hands over the head. Frame your face. 
Give yourself a nice frame for your beautiful face. Good, 10 more right here, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then come back into your warrior two. I switch sides over here, so make sure that you have the left foot forward, and then let's windmill it all the way down. High plank, chaturanga, to upward facing dog, to downward dog. All right, let's all take a child's pose right here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of that together. So you might not have even realized, but you just learned our whole flow sequence. So we're gonna put that together from the beginning of the wild thing all the way through. Okay, so we'll try that. All right, so let's come on up. It's gonna be really fun. I'm excited, here we go. Let's come back into our downward dog. Let's start with our right leg. Inhale up, bend the knee, open up the hip. Carefully, just float your way down into wild thing. Reach up through the fingertips, lower down. We'll do one lift, up and down. Lift up to wild thing again. And now, come into the side. Here we go, side plank. Carefully step yourself all the way forward. Slow motion all the way forward, nice. Coming right up into our crescent pose. One big circle here, and then immediately all the way to our warrior two. Flow it back, side angle pose, and back, stretch to triangle, and all the way to our goddess. Nice, and then back into our warrior two. And float yourself all the way down to high plank into your vinyasa. Beautiful. How'd that go for you, pretty good? Okay, let's do the other side. Lift on up, bend the knee, open up the hip. And we're gonna come into wild thing. Lift up high through the hips, reach through the fingertips. Sit all the way down. Lift up through the toes. And rise back up into wild thing. Side plank. And then carefully, as slow as you can, like you're moving through honey, all the way up to the top of the mat. Nice, find your positioning. Hold your core, circle the arms. Beautiful. And then warrior two, strong stance. Reverse the warrior, side angle. Now stretch your wrist as you reverse. Back down into triangle. And goddess pose to warrior two. And flow it through, high plank. And back. All right, how'd that go? Pretty fun, right? Okay, we're gonna add on just a little bit. So lift up the leg, inhale. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Wild thing, lower down. Up and lift. Side plank, slow motion, crescent pose. Windmill the arms. And second, reverse, flow, like you're moving through water. All right, now here in our goddess pose, we're gonna stand up onto our left side. So we're gonna stand all the way up Pretty tough, right? Use inner thighs, get yourself all the way up. Then we're gonna take a nice little curtsy lunge right here. Let's hold it here and do 10 pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then we're gonna come up into a little coupe position here and then back down. All right, 10 and nine, 
eight, seven, and maybe the leg can start to get up a little bit higher each time. Six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Hold it here. You're either in coupe or passe. Now you're gonna extend the leg long, and then you're gonna land all the way back into your warrior two. All right, don't forget to swivel that heel or that foot in. Reach and take a windmill. Nice job. Let's do all of that on the other side now. Here we go, lift the left leg up, bend the knee, open up the hip. Lift up high, lower down, back to the elbow, one lift, and then back up into war, or not war, uh, wild thing. Slow motion all the way up to the top of the mat. One big circle all the way around to warrior two. Reverse, side angle, stretch with the wrist to triangle. And then your goddess pose. I'm gonna turn around so you can see me. Goddess pose, good. Now we're gonna stand all the way up to our right leg. All the way up, squeeze those inner thighs together. Take yourself to your curtsy. Let's do 10 pulses here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, stand it all the way up to your coupe or passe. 10, up, nine. Whew. You gotta really find that balance point right there in the middle. Seven, and six, five, four, and three, and two, and one. Hold it here, little balance, extend, Land in your warrior two, turn that heel, and flow it all the way down. All right, that's your whole combination. So now we're gonna put all of that together, okay? So I'm gonna start back here. So I'm not gonna talk as much so that you can just really get into the movements and flow and enjoy yourself, all right? So here we go, let's start with the right leg and one breath each. Let's go. Just one right here, and up, down. Now we extend side. Here we go, left side. How'd it go for you? Pretty fun, right? 
Okay, so we'll do it one more time all together, right and left. And I want you to put your own spin on it. I want you to maybe make your arms a little bit fancier, really lift your chest, and just let yourself go in this, okay? Have fun with it, right? It, just make it your own. It doesn't have to look like mine. I want you to take it and make it your own. Maybe even film yourself. I would love to see it. Definitely tag me, because I want to see. Okay, ready? Let's go ahead and start. Starting with the right leg. Let's go. And come on down. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's take a nice little cool down here. Hope you had fun. It's all about just letting go, moving your body, and enjoying your beautiful body. So I'm so glad that you tried this out with me. Maybe it was something completely new for you, and you discovered maybe something new about your body, found a different way you could move. That's still pretty challenging, gets you strong, but it's so fun, because when it's fun, you're gonna come back and do it again, right? Great job. Great job in showing up for yourself today. And if you enjoyed today's class, then subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, because it really helps me out so that I can keep creating amazing workouts and challenges just like this for you. And if you're ready to take your fitness to the next level and wanna be a part of an amazing community that keeps you accountable and motivated, then download my Stretchy Fit app because it has my absolute best bar and yoga programs available in any app store. So check it out for free and I will see you in the next video. Bye.